Let's take a look at how to facilitate and enable end users to request and support various services from IT. Service Manager's powerful and intuitive service portal can be accessed from any browser or from a tablet. Here we see Amy Lopez logged in, ready to submit a ticket for an issue she's having with her phone. All she needs to do is click the Support tab and then the Create button under the red suitcase icon. The system already knows who she is, so she just needs to provide a little detail on the type of problem she's having and how urgent it is to her. She can even include an attachment or screenshot if she needs to. Well, that was easy. It only took a few seconds and a few clicks. Alternatively, she could also browse the support catalog to submit an issue for a predefined type of problem, for example, a password reset. The benefit of doing this is that the issue gets to the right group faster and therefore gets addressed quicker. In addition, the Smart Ticket feature enables end users to submit self-service support requests in a very simple way from their mobile device. They need only provide a few simple text lines or possibly an error image, and HP Service Manager will do the rest. Tom is a salesman. While he's traveling, he can't access his email from his mobile device. This prevents him from accessing important information needed to do his job. With HP Service Manager Smart Analytics, there's no need for him to fill out any fields when submitting a ticket. All he needs to do is to take a screenshot of the error message, attach it to the ticket, and click the Submit button. All of the ticket details are completed on the back end. Tom doesn't have to type a thing. Now let's turn to the IT Service Desk agent who's going to deal with Tom's case. The heading of the error message appears in the description field and the affected service is correct. With this information in hand, the agent can solve the ticket for Tom as soon as possible. Now Amy can search for that new monitor she needs. Just by typing monitor, the system returns not only possible catalog items she might be interested in, but also knowledge articles as well. As a business end user, Amy doesn't need to know about something broken versus something new. HP Service Portal takes care of that for her. Amy also could have browsed the service catalog to find the item she's looking for, but the universal search makes finding what she needs even easier. Within the search results, she can just view the service, support, or knowledge results. Within the knowledge documents, she sees an article for an issue she's been having trouble with. She selects a knowledge article that helps her quickly fix something else that she was wondering about. Now she sees the request item for the new monitor. Amy selects this item and fills in a few key data points. At this point, she can request this item or add it to her cart and submit several items at once. Since this is the only item she wants at the time, she'll just submit this now. On the final screen, she can indicate her urgency and the date it is needed by. Right from the main dashboard of the service portal, the business user has access to almost anything they might need. A user can click the approval section and see any record in the system that is pending their approval. In the Your Request section, a user can get the latest status on any service or support ticket they have opened through the portal, over the phone, or via mobile device. On the status summary, a comment bubble shows if there is a new update to a ticket that hasn't been viewed yet. Drilling into the records shows all the details including the fulfillment details. The comment and details section shows all activities and updates to the ticket. The business user can also provide comments as an update. On support requests, user can provide more in-depth updates including updating the description, contact details, urgency, and adding attachments. The business user can also close the support request just by providing a comment. Service Manager additionally provides a survey tool which enables you to implement email surveys without integration with a third-party survey tool. In this tool you can either manually send a survey from a record or set up scheduled surveys. In addition to individual survey results, administrators can also check the statistic reports that the system automatically generates based on the existing survey results. Request automation will be covered in more detail in Section 7 when integrations are discussed. For now, let's look at the fulfillment end of a request from a business user 
to provision and deploy Microsoft Office. We can see here that, based on the task planner definition in the request module, two request tasks are generated in the fulfillment phase. One is order software, and the other is deploy software. Adrian Baxt is automatically assigned the software deployment task, and it appears in his queue. The operations orchestration workflow for software installation is pre-configured in the task planner for the request model and is attached to the request task once the task has been generated. It is then executed from the request task in the system. In this case, it automatically installs the requested software and communicates the result back to Service Manager. Once the workflow finishes, the request task moves to the completion phase. The task is then closed by the request analyst with the appropriate comments. This automatically notifies the business user that his service request is closed. He checks the fulfillment result on his new laptop and sees that Microsoft Office has been successfully deployed by the operations orchestration workflow. Service Manager issues the business user one consistent ticket number. This provides consistent communication to the business user. And technical teams can easily control what updates are posted to the end user for communication. Here we can see a technician making a comment on a change ticket associated with the customer's request. By checking the box visible to customer, the technician's comments will be posted to the service portal for the business user to see. This functionality is system-wide on all ticket types and works for any record related to the business user's request or issue. The service portal also shows important details regarding fulfillment for the business user. Here in the additional details section, the user can see specifics on each fulfillment item needed to fulfill the request. This includes the individual status and a historic log of all updates and approvals. This gives business end users the clarity and communication they need to understand the most current status dynamically.